Wheaties modular systems can be customized to create almost any shower configuration. Here, we'll create a custom sized shower including a built in bench, suspended bench, curb, wheelchair ramp, and a soap niche. There must be at least a 5 inch diameter hole surrounding the 2 inch drain pipe to accommodate the weedy drain system. You'll need the 2 inch drain pipe extended above the subfloor. Here we're showing you how you can then cut down the 2 inch pipe to 1 8 inch above the subfloor. We're using a drywall square as a gauge because they're approximately 1 8 inch thick. Make sure to clean the rough cut edges of the drain pipe. We now need to cut down a 5 foot by 7 foot base to fit this custom shower application. You'll see we are making a diagram by measuring the dimensions from each wall to the center of the drain location. We'll then transfer the measurements to the base. First, mark the center point of the uncut base on all sides. Now take your dimensions from the center of the drain and measure out to mark the edge of where the pan needs to be cut. It's a good idea to undercut your base 1 8 inch to allow for shimming. Do not exceed 1 8 inch. Any tool that cuts wood will easily cut all weedy products. Here we're using a skill saw that has an adjustable guide for ease. This base required us cutting all four sides. As you see, this is a quick and easy process. Once the base is cut, you'll need to recut the 1 half by 1 half inch notch on all the perimeters. Do not skip this step or the system will not work. Readjust your saw blade depth to one half inch deep and cut the top of all the straight base perimeters one half inch inset from the base edges. You'll now roll the saw on its edge and use the guide to make the horizontal notch one half inch down from the top surface. You can also make the cuts with a straight edge and razor knife if you don't have power tools. Assembling the drain body on the base will first require applying weedy sealant to the lip on the drain hub on the top of the shower base, as demonstrated. Unscrew the outer and inner parts of the assembled drain. Insert the main portion of the drain body onto the top side of the base. Now turn the base over. Fit the rubber washer to the underside of the drain hub next to the fiber washer and now you need to screw the large threaded nut to the bottom of the hub. Make sure to firmly tighten this down with both hands. Always do a dry fit in the shower space to ensure a proper fit. Mix up your modified thin set to the same consistency as you would for setting tile. This is a good time to clean up any excess sealant around the top of the drain assembly. Now apply thin set to the underside of the shower base making sure to have complete coverage to the whole pan using a 1 quarter by 1 quarter inch or 3 eighths by 1 quarter inch notch trowel. You'll also need to apply modified thin set to the floor. Be sure that you generously apply the thin set to the complete area and all the way to the side walls and up to the drain area. Trowel the thin set in straight channels in one direction toward the open entry side of the base. This allows a pathway for the air to escape. The base is now ready to fit into place. Compress the base into place by stomping on it. You should now be ready to insert the rubber drain gasket. The double bevel edge should be facing up. The gasket is going to be inserted between the two inch drain pipe and the inner drain assembly. This is a snug fit and you need to fully press the gasket into place so the top side of the rubber gasket is below or flush to the top of the drain pipe. It's imperative that the gasket is not sitting above the two inch drain pipe. To set the gasket, twist the threaded nut into place 
and use the tightening tool provided with a screwdriver to firmly tighten and compress the gasket into place, creating the proper seal. The following diagram shows how to install the drain and gasket correctly. You'll notice in the second diagram that if the drain pipe is too low, you cannot correctly compress and seal the gasket. Take your time to ensure doing this right. Weedy wall boards are light and easy to work with. They can be easily cut with a razor knife. Make sure to cut all the way through the board to ensure you have a clean edge for a better seal when assembling. All vertical seams between the wallboard should be centered on a stud. 